uh, the first big news, of course, is Kenny G uh, has been arrested uh, on, on, on charges of marijuana and meth in Japan. Um, now, when I first saw that Kenny G had been arrested on charges of meth and, 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 and marijuana possession, I thought that, man, that's like the coolest thing Kenny G has probably ever done. It turns out, however, Kenny G, uh, with a hyphen, is, is this guy. He's like a Japanese rapper. Um, you know, when I, I, I did double take. I mean, I was like, how did Kenny G even get into Japan in the first place, let alone bring a bunch of weed and meth with him? Um, but, oh yeah, when I look at this Kenny G, I mean, if... Of all the rapping names in the world that you could choose, if I was going to become a, a you know a gangster, <laughs> Kenny G isn't really. I mean, I, I, I'm guessing he has his he has his own reasons, but um, yes, I must admit I was pretty shocked for uh, well about about five seconds uh, until I clicked on the article, but it was funny. Um, and, and again, kids, if you're in Japan, don't do. I mean, don't do meth is sort of universal, um, but um, Japan, the country which invented crystal meth, by the way, or at least the artificial version of it, Japan invented it, um, but still illegal as hell. And, and, and just like weed was also not illegal until after the war, during the occupation, uh, they, they, you know, Japan has this way of fully embracing um, imported uh, laws and morality, like more than the countries that they took it from. Uh, and, and, and so, yeah, don't be like Kenny G. That's the story for tonight. Do not, uh, you know, don't do these things. And if you do do them, don't bring them into Japan or do them in Japan because you'll end up in uh, immigration, detention and, and prison and, you know, nowhere good. So just remember, kids, don't be like Kenny G. Uh, don't do it. Just say no. Uh, that's the first story. Hiko as a gangster. Indeed, you better believe it. Uh, <laughs> yeah, I was a little...